Hi kids, it's Inspector V with the Northwest Fire District. I hope you are doing really well at home, doing your homework, right? And I have a new lesson for you. So today's lesson is called, let's read the screen together, it's called Stay Away From Hot Things. So what do you think this lesson's about? If you look at the pictures, I think you'll get an idea, right? So let's get started. So let me ask you an important question. Raise your hand if you've ever gotten burned before. Raise your hand. Well, I've been burned before too, and I remember just how much it hurt. And when I was little, that's when I got burned like that, I remember touching a pan on the stove, and I shouldn't have touched it. And when I got burned, I just remembered how much it hurt and how my mom put my, put my burn under cool water to make it feel better. But you know what? Today's lesson, I'm going to teach you guys about not touching things that are hot and to stay away from them, okay? Because you know what? I don't want any of you getting burned. Did you know that there are things inside and outside your home that get hot or can get hot? Now, let's think about it. Right now that summer's coming, what is the main thing to get stuff really, really hot outside? That's right, the sun. The sun gets so hot and it makes things outside really hot too. So things that are made of metal that you keep out in the sun get really, really hot. And did you know that your skin can get burned by the sun? And you didn't even touch the sun, right? But it's important to wear sunscreen and not stay out playing for too long. Just remember that, okay? So let's think about some things that are outside the house that you need to stay away from because they can burn you. Think about it. Hmm. What about a barbecue grill? Barbecue grills are great, but you know what? Fire comes out of them, right? Whether it's a charcoal grill or a gas grill, that's what your mom and dad used to make hot dogs and hamburgers, chicken, steak. Oh my goodness, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> but remember, when they're barbecuing, I want you to remember the magic number three. That means I want you to stay three feet away from anything that has fire in it, like a barbecue grill. Now there's other things in your yard that can get just as hot as a barbecue grill. Hmm, what would that be? And they're pretty popular now too. A fire pit. Fire pits are wonderful to stand around in on cool nights and keep warm. But most families use fire pits to roast marshmallows and make s'mores. Yum. But if you're using those, make sure that mommy and daddy are around and get a stick that's longer than three feet so that you're not too close to get burned. So what's the, what's the magic number again? Three feet. What's something else in your yard that you need to stay away from that gets really, really hot? What about a chimney? Now a chimney is usually used in Arizona or Nevada places that are that have a desert because they're pretty these are pretty popular because of the cool nights in the desert now a chimney is an outside fireplace and so fireplaces have fire in it right so again three feet away and last but not least a campfire right now that we can't go any place some of you guys are camping outside in your yard and that's tons of fun but if you're going to be building a campfire three feet is the magic number because you know what Three feet is the distance that'll keep you from getting burned. In the summer, it's fun to go to the park and play on the swings and the slide and all the playground equipment that's there. But because the sun can make all of those things really hot, make sure that you have your mom and your dad check the playground equipment before you get on it. Let's talk about some things that get hot inside your house. Now, I know your mom and dad have told you many times to stay away from these things. So let's see if you remember what's one of them. One of them would be the stove, right? That's where your mom and dad cook their food. If you see mom and dad in the kitchen, stay out of the kitchen. An outlet. I know some of you guys call it a plugger. But an outlet has electricity in it. And electricity burns just like fire. So only grown-ups should be the ones that use it. A toaster. A toaster that toasts your your bread and your bagels, the outside of the toaster can also be hot. Let mom and dad take that stuff out for you, okay? 
an iron. Do you guys know what an iron is? I bet you don't. What does an iron do? If any of you said takes wrinkles out of clothes, you're right. An iron gets super hot because the bottom of the iron is the, that takes the wrinkles out of clothes. Did you know that your mom and dad can't put an iron away right away after they used it because it's still hot? They need to let it cool down. If you see an iron laying around, don't get near it. It's probably hot. A candle. Now a candle has many uses, right? The smaller ones, we put them on birthday cakes. And the bigger ones, some of them have a really nice scent to them, so it makes our house smell really good. And we use candles when the electricity goes out. When you see a lit candle, stay away from it. A light bulb. A light bulb is brightened by electricity. But you know what? Sometimes light bulbs burn out, but it keeps the light bulb hot still. Mom and Dad should be the only ones that change out light bulbs from lamps, okay? A glue gun. I bet you guys have parents that use glue guns for all the crafty stuff that they like to make. Again, a glue gun gets really hot. The glue sticks, they melt. So you know that glue gun is really hot. Mom and dad, again, have to let it cool down. So stay away from it when you see it laying around on the table. The microwave. The microwave heats up snacks. He makes popcorn, right? But did you know that the dish and the food are both hot? So only grown-ups should be taking stuff out of the microwave. A fireplace. Well, fire's in a fireplace, right? It keeps us warm, but I want you to stay away from it so you don't get burned. And last but not least, curling irons and straighteners. Women use them all the time for their hair, right? To either straighten it or curl it. But you know what? You usually see them in the bathroom. So when you see them in the bathroom, don't touch them, please. We can't put them away when they, after we finish using them, we've got to let them cool down. So when you see these things in the bathroom, keep away. Now, there's three pictures on the screen here that you need to stay three feet away from. Can you guys think of which three pictures it is? Who can tell me what the first one would be? The stove, that's right. The stove, three feet away from the stove. What about, huh? what did you say? The candle? You're right. It's got a flame on it, right? So we want to stay three feet away. And of course, what would be the last one? The fireplace? You're right. You guys are so smart. The fireplace. So remember, you guys, three feet is the magic number for anything that has a flame coming out of it. And remember, stay away from these things that are hot. Did you know that hot liquid can burn you just like fire? It can. So it's really important that you understand what liquids can be really hot and burn you. Now, if you see a pan on the stove, it could be soup, it could be boiling water. We stay away from the stove, three feet. But what if you're given a bowl of soup? Make sure mommy and daddy test it before you put it, before you put the spoon in your mouth. Because you know what? I don't want you burning your tongue with hot soup. Same thing with a cup of cocoa or a cup of tea. Have mom and dad test it before you drink it. And the faucet. You're thinking, how do I get burned from the faucet? Well, from the hot water, right? Now, the faucets have color sometimes that'll let you know it's hot or cold. It'll be either red for hot and blue for cold, or it would be letters, H for hot, C for cold. But sometimes faucets don't have that. It's just one handle. So you gotta know whether it's left or right that's hot or cold. Make sure you talk to your mom and dad about that, okay? Did you know that your parents use things that are called tools. Now, I'm not talking like hammers and saws and stuff like that, but anything that a grown up uses, it's called a tool. But when fire comes out of it, it's called a fire tool. Now, there's two pictures here on the screen. And the first set over here, on um, the first thing that you see is matches. Matches are called fire tools. And the next thing you see are lighters. And there's three different types of lighters right there. All these things are for grown-ups to touch only. Do not 
touch matches and lighters. Do not play with matches and lighters. Matches and lighters are tools, not toys. Can you guys say that with me? Matches and lighters are tools, not toys. Kids play with toys. Grown-ups use tools. Don't play with matches. Don't play with lighters. Now, if you happen to see matches and lighters laying around your house, because sometimes a grown-up will be lighting a candle, or maybe they used it for something else and they accidentally left it out. If you see any of those things laying around, tell a grown-up, okay? Because you know what? Matches and lighters need to be kept up high out of reach of kids. So it's okay to remind your parents, don't pick them up and show your parents. You go tell your mom and dad that they left a lighter or a match laying around, and let them pick it up and they will put it away. As you can see in this picture, the dad is putting away a candle, the matches, and a lighter, okay? Now, what would you do if you saw a friend playing with matches? Now, I know it's hard to tell on friends, but when, when your friends make bad choices, then you need to go tell a grown-up so that they don't get hurt and so that they don't burn their house down or they can hurt somebody else too. It's not a good choice to be playing with matches or lighters. So whenever you do that, make sure you tell a grown-up right away. You're not being a tattletale. You're just being a good friend. Now let's play a game. Okay, let's play a game. And the game, name of the game is called Safe or Hot. Now I'm going to show you some pictures and I want you to tell me if that picture is safe to touch or if it's hot and it should never be touched. You guys ready to get started? All right, let's do this. All right, the first picture, <gasps> ice cream. Is that hot or is that safe? Did you say safe? You're right. It is safe. Ice cream is safe to touch and it's yummy too. Let's see what the next picture says. A match. Is that hot or is that safe? You're right. It's hot. Nobody should be touching matches, right? Only a grown-up. Because what kind of a tool is it? It's a fire tool. Let's see the next picture. A rubber ducky. Can you get burned by a rubber ducky? <laughs> no. So is it hot or safe? That's right. It's safe. A lighter. We know that a lighter is also a fire tool. So is it hot or is it safe? That's right. It's hot. We don't touch matches and lighters. A pan with food in it. Is that hot or is that safe? It's not safe. It's hot. That's right. I know some of you got it right and some of you got it wrong. But when, pan, when a pan has food in it, that means it's usually been on the stove. And that probably means the food is hot too. We stay away from things that are hot, right? Let's see what's next. A candle, hot or safe? <laughs> You're right, you guys are so smart. It is hot, that's right. Let's see what's coming up next. An iron, is an iron hot or safe? Well, sometimes we don't know by just looking at it, right? So what should you be thinking in your head? That's right, that it's hot. A teddy bear. Can a teddy bear burn you? No. So a teddy bear is safe to touch. A light bulb. Hot or safe? You're right, it's hot. An apple. Is it hot or safe? I love apples. You're, you're right. It's safe. A curling iron. Hot or safe? It's hot. You guys played this game really well. I hope you guys learned a lot from this lesson. And remember, stay safe and don't touch things that are hot. And remember, fire tools are for grown-ups. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.